Hey everyone, today I'm back with some big news. In case you haven't already heard, Pharrell Williams has been named the new creative director of menswear at Louis Vuitton. Now I don't know about you guys, but to me, this decision came as a bit of a surprise. In fact, you may have seen my episode from a couple of months ago where I discussed possible options for the next creative director of Louis Vuitton, and I failed to mention Pharrell's name even once. It's not that I didn't think he was a good fit for the role, which I'll talk about in just a bit, it's just that there were so many other names being thrown around, and people were saying, oh, I heard a rumor that it's going to be this designer or that designer, and it just created a lot of confusion. But hey, I guess now we have our answer, and before I get into things here, I just want to take a step back and say that this is a bittersweet conversation to have. As you may recall, the entire reason that Louis Vuitton has been looking for a new creative director is because the former creative director, Virgil Abloh, passed away unexpectedly back in November of 2021. His death shook the fashion industry to its core, and I think I speak for everyone when I say that it isn't any easier to comprehend now than it was back then. His appointment as the creative director of Louis Vuitton back in 2018 was one of the most pivotal moments in fashion history. A kid from Chicago with no formal training in fashion worked his way up the ranks to become the lead designer at one of the most prolific fashion houses to have ever existed. It inspired people everywhere, and in many ways, he single-handedly changed our understanding of what luxury fashion could be. So to fill his shoes is a daunting, dare I say impossible task, which is why, up until now, Louis Vuitton has chosen not to fill his vacant role. Instead, they've allowed Virgil's design team at Louis Vuitton to continue making the collections on their own without a creative director, and if you ask me, they've done a fantastic job. But now, that is obviously going to change. For better or for worse, that is yet to be determined. To start off, I'm just going to say that Pharrell has the potential to be a fantastic choice, and I'll explain why. During his tenure as creative director, Virgil challenged our traditional understandings of luxury fashion and streetwear, and because of how well that was received, it's something that I imagine Louis Vuitton wants the new creative director to continue doing. Well, in that respect, Pharrell makes sense. Not only is he the founder of Billionaire Boys Club, which is one of the most prolific streetwear brands of all time, he was also one of the first figures in hip-hop to really embrace the world of high fashion. I know that some of you are going to say, that's not right, so-and-so did it first. But listen, I said he's one of the first, and if you need convincing, here it is. Back in 2004, that's nearly 20 years ago, Pharrell and Nigo actually partnered with Louis Vuitton to design a pair of sunglasses that they would call the Millionaires. These glasses were extremely limited, with only 200 of each color being made, but the fact that Louis Vuitton wanted to work with him this early on speaks volumes. And to my knowledge, he was the first person in hip-hop to actually work with Louis Vuitton. Not Kanye, not Soulja Boy, Pharrell. And this was just the start. These glasses were in such high demand that a few years later, in 2008, Louis Vuitton decided to re-release them on a wider scale. Now that they were available in larger quantities, people started seeing them everywhere, and I mean everywhere. It seemed as if every major celebrity had been photographed wearing them, but out of all of these photos, my favorite has to be the one of Virgil, Kanye, and Pharrell. Now something you may not know is that when Virgil went on to become the creative director of Louis Vuitton, he actually paid homage to Pharrell by releasing an updated version of these sunglasses called the 1.1 Millionaires. And these two became extremely popular. So popular that more people probably know about these than the originals. But either way, the point is that as creative director of Louis Vuitton, one of Virgil's first pieces was a tip of the cap to Pharrell. Beyond that though, Louis Vuitton is not the only experience that Pharrell has in the world of luxury fashion, because he's also an ambassador for Chanel. As the story goes, Pharrell had always been a fan of Chanel and decided to stamp the iconic double C logo onto his boots. It wasn't an official collab, he just thought it looked cool, but then one day, by chance, he ran into Karl Lagerfeld while wearing them, and Karl took a liking to them. He didn't say anything, but shortly afterwards, Pharrell received an invitation to appear in Chanel's short film titled Reincarnation. He of course accepted, and thus began the friendship between Pharrell and Karl Lagerfeld. 
Pharrell then went on to collaborate with Chanel on a pair of NMDs, and even received his own capsule collection titled the Chanel Pharrell Collection. So the point I'm trying to make is that Pharrell has experience working with big name luxury houses, and historically, it's gone well. I'm curious to see what an entire collection might look like, but I trust his instincts. He has a refined aesthetic, in my opinion his strength is color theory, and he always seems to be ahead of trends, which is something that every fashion house strives for. The bottom line is that I don't know what to expect, but I know I'm looking forward to it, and I guess we'll get to find out this coming June, because that is when he's expected to make his debut at Paris Fashion Week. I imagine he'll pay tribute to Virgil in some way, but I also imagine he'll move Louis Vuitton in a new direction that we haven't seen before. So we have that to look forward to, but before wrapping up, I just want to touch on a few of the big what-ifs. Like I said, I made predictions about who the next creative director of Louis Vuitton would be, and Pharrell wasn't even on my list. On that list, I had Martine Rose, Grace Wales Bonner, Telfar Clemens, Daniel Lee, who is now at Burberry, and then I threw out a few names that I didn't expect to be named creative director, but I thought that they would be interesting to consider, including Heron Preston, Samuel Ross, and even Kanye West. I've already seen multiple people online saying, oh, I wonder what Kanye thinks about this. Well, I wonder if he even knows, considering that he's been banned from every social media platform, but in all reality, I don't think that was ever a real possibility. Louis Vuitton knows better than that. Another name that has recently entered the conversation but wasn't in my initial predictions is Colin Delan of Kid Super. Louis Vuitton invited him on as the guest creative director for their Fall Winter 2023 collection, and he did a great job. So after this, many people started speculating that this was like a trial run and that he was going to be brought on as the permanent creative director. I honestly think that would have been a good option, but obviously that is not what they went with. So to conclude, I am honestly happy that they picked Pharrell. There's clearly a lot of pressure on him to deliver given the circumstances, but for now, all we can do is wait and see. I don't know what to expect, no one does, but he's someone that Virgil personally knew, and I can't speak for him, but my guess is that he's someone Virgil personally would have approved of, which I think bodes well for the future of the fashion house. Anyways, that's all for now. I just wanted to make a quick episode breaking down my thoughts. Stay tuned because I'm going to be dropping the full History of Prada episode on YouTube this Saturday, and I'm also going to be releasing a new Patreon episode on Saturday, so watch out for that as well. Other than that, thank you all for listening, and I will see you next time.